What's up everybody? I just wanted to bring you this video of some coin show footage. Um, I know I haven't made anything in a while and I'll try to, you know, make some stuff more frequently. But I also wanted to let you know that there is a couple minutes of extra coin show footage at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. But uh, anyway, just enjoy the video and thanks. <laughs> I really like these like 10 ounce like pandas and snake whatever. When you're poor, you stack what you can. But now I'm, I'm actually up well. It's hard to be up on 25th and 20th. But I'm pretty much. Yeah, I think I'm in the positive on all my tents, which was. It took me a while to get there. I think yeah, I mean, gold went up so high, yeah. Oh, the kiwi. Uh, dude, it's all good. It's always fun talking to people. You're me like, that's my sister. <laughs> <laughs> no, me meeting people here is always fun. Actually, like, uh, like that whole like coin group chat and everything. Like, I met everybody here, and it's just like fun. You just meet people here, and it's like real cool community. Honestly, I'm a weird. I'm weird with people. Like, I can sit here and chat with people. But like, if you pull me out of this environment, I'm not talking to you. Like, you know? Yeah. Know. I'm a little awkward, but... He gets good views, dude. You should drop your business card in the back. Yeah, you gotta, if you wanna do the business card, I'll shout you out. <laughs> Okay, I gotcha, I'll get it. Yeah, I feel like people just like looking at the like coin show because that's actually what got me into it was I really wanted to go to the fun show, but I could never go. And so I just like looked up a video and I was just like fun show on like fun show video and somebody had one and I was like, this is so cool. And then I like tried looking for more and like nobody else really had any. So I was like, I'm just gonna like make them. And I use YouTube almost exclusively just to watch music until I met the coin geek at the A and A, what was it last year or the year before? Oh yeah, Ben? Yeah. yeah. He's pretty cool. I was like, oh my god, there's this whole world of YouTube coins. There's really not a lot of them either. Like it's like No, it's mostly stacker. Yeah, stacker, like uh, I don't know their names, but there's a few. You selling a lot today? Oh yeah. That's good. A lot of Morgans. Kind of cool looking one. Commands. Barber halves. Some scents. Oh, nice raw coins. Gonna, are you gonna do like some cool designs and stuff like that? I'm actually gonna have everything melted down to coins so I can actually hand stamp them in front of you. My wife here actually, that's gonna be cool. Right here, actually, right in front of everybody. Yeah. yeah. You don't have like a big with that. Man, I'm telling you, roller the first word to draw Well, I stayed in Hawaii in 1972. Oh, look at all these coins! Look at these coins! How much are you asking on the Black Eagle? That one's $550. It's very nice. Watching them. I haven't done a video in like months because like a lot of, a lot of dealers just kind of don't really like yeah. having their coins recorded yeah. and stuff and it yeah, makes I don't mind as long as you don't connect the base yeah because I do a lot of other shows like these sports cars and the other things so you know you just don't want the rip yeah 
Commemorative coins off of you a little while ago, though. Yeah. I got two fifty two. So you got a lot of commemoratives in today, too. You know, I buy them when I can get them, but they've been pretty hard to buy lately. Yeah. I feel like they've been kind of coming down a little bit. Yeah, they do. They have been well, you know. It's 45 is the first two. And 32 is 52. What? Very nice bus hat. Huh? Number four. Rick Schneller says it's worth 5000 No, no, what number is that? What's that number? Oh, 58. Hi, puppies. Nikki. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Good girl. Just one picture and the next one's five bucks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got the whole four coin fractional set from Fiji. This one looks really stunning. And like a really nice tetragram of Athens was like $39.95. That's crazy. And that coin today is in that condition. Yeah. Thousands. Yeah. I actually just bought one not too long ago. I think I paid $1,600. And it's like a really choice one. It's got a full luster on it and everything. Yeah. But I'm uh, selling a really super one, uh, 1980, to uh, Jonathan Spawn and Frank Carter worked there for $2,100. Well, that was the kind of stuff when I was a kid, you could buy that for 20 bucks. Yeah. And the stuff that was three, four dollars, it's three, four, five, ten dollars now. Still. Yeah, the, the cheap stuff stays and then the expensive stuff really just goes up because that's the stuff everybody wants, you know? And that cheap stuff, you can know where to go. Like, you, know, you go to Lebanon and uh, you buy 10,000 coins, unsorted. Field finds for a dollar a piece. Yeah. You can spend 10,000 bucks, you buy 10,000 coins. And in the 10,000 coins, there will be hundreds that you will just throw in the scrap metal. And there it's will be Greek and Roman and Byzantine and Islamic and Crusader and other weird stuff thrown in. And there'll always be stuff like rare stuff, like Eudoxia. Or, you know, there'll, be, there'll be enough coins that are worth. 150, 200, 300 dollars a piece to make up to make up for yeah, you know. No, I get it. I would, I would love to do that. Kind of just travel around, buy coins. It's not as easy as it used to be. Oh, I bet. There's some places I used to go that I just wouldn't have much going there. Anymore. Not healthy. <laughs> Music all night. It's pretty cool. What's that? You know, there's you go to Guatemala, you go to the banks and ask them if they have any old silver stuff. They sell you old stuff for silver. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. Ooh, some price of silver. Yeah. And sometimes they'd have like rolls, original rolls of stuff from the 19th century. <laughs> Brand new. You got some ancient stuff. All right, so we are back home. This is after the coin show. I just wanted to show off what I got um, and also apologize that I haven't made a video in like eight months. Uh, just been kind of busy, just moved into a new house with my girlfriend, bought a new truck, you know, all kinds of new stuff going on. So just been kind of focusing my time and money in other, other parts of my life right now, but I'm trying to get back into this. And also I've been uh, putting away money for the fun show in January because I am going to try to add like a new centerpiece to my collection at the fun show so definitely gonna make a video there a couple of videos probably um, but for now let's show off what I got so I got these three raw coins um, from the last dealer that you just saw right before this part of the video um, I got some other things from him the last coin show I went to actually was when I bought this coin from that guy um, it is a details coin it's been cleaned but 
these coins are kind of hard to come by and when you find a nice one they're super expensive I kind of got this one at a discount because it's been cleaned it also just looks pretty nice still to be honest with you I also got a, a new Mac a new camera with a macro lens and I've been taking pictures of coins uh, I took a cool one of this one I'll put it up on the screen but uh yeah so my new camera is kind of what's making me want to get these new raw coins um, just to take pictures of them really so the first one I got I think there was a little snippet of it in the video but it's this little 10 centavos from Mexico 1892 uh, can't really get you know the toning with the lighting I got right now but it has like a really cool tone to look to it uh, I'll put the the pictures I took of all these coins up on the screen as well so you can see all the kind of true views that I made for them but there's that and it just kind of caught my eye like I said I was really just at the show I've been putting money away for the fun show so I haven't really been doing a lot of coin shopping but I just had an itch to take some pictures and wanted to find some cool coins to take pictures of really that was the first one that caught my eye uh, next, I got just this peso. I got it for like 15 bucks. 1932 silver peso from Mexico. Basically got it for like melt price, so I just bought it. I also just love the look of these coins. I always love the cap and rays. Moon peso, 1932. It's really lustrous. Got the lettered edge. That says, and then Estados Unidos Mexicanos. That 720 is because it's 72% uh, silver, I believe. Again, pretty lustrous side. Look how shiny that is. Yeah, I got this for like 15 bucks. This coin over here is actually a pretty common coin. Nothing really special about it besides the looks, but I did kind of pay up for it. I paid like close to a hundred bucks, I think, for it. But yeah, from this dealer that I bought this stuff from, yeah, he gave me this and I was really happy about this and it kind of held me over for the past few months. Um, I've been bidding on these coins every time they come up for auction at Sedwick the past year and a half. Um, but every single time, I swear they go for way more money than I think, so I've just been losing out on them. Just decided to settle with this one. And then the last coin I got was an 8 Realis from Mexico. Uh, Mexico City. And this is the FH. Those are the assayer initials. Or the, I guess, the mint worker initials, whatever it is. Um, yeah, I took a re another really cool picture of this one. And you can't really tell from looking at it in hand especially with the lighting I got. I apologize for the lighting, but uh, there's some serious flow lines going on around the lettering. Um, that's like a result of a bunch of wear on the die. I think it ends up kind of just uh, making these flow lines, but the flow lines are really pronounced on the pictures I took under the macro lens. thought it was pretty cool. You also can't really, let me put it under this uh, lighting, you can't really see in hand the haze that's on it but under the macro lens you can kind of see there's like a green haze and it kind of looks like PVC damage um, or you know not PVC damage but a haze caused by PVC but it's a really nice coin in hand I think I paid 200 probably 250 something like that for that coin so I honestly don't know it may be too much to pay for that, but I was kind of splurging. But uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all I got this time. Um, like I said, I'm gonna try to get back into this more. So try to go to more shows and do more videos or just some videos of any kind. Um, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you stuck this far, you know, like and subscribe if you want to see more. Yada yada yada. Thank you guys. Have a good day.
there's a lot of there's a handful of deals. You need to go. You need to go there. That's a good show. It's not really one job. It's the flight is cheap. I was gonna drive, but then. I had to rent a bigger vehicle to take all my stuff. And it was like six days of rental versus a two hundred dollar round trip. Thank you. 